Hello people, my name's Z and today I'll be doing a video on division, how to division 101. Now I'll be showing you a few things about division 1 is the dark zone. Now what you don't want to do is enter the dark zone DZ1 because you'll have level 90 plus in about groups of four, just camping outside the entrance just to pick off all the noobs. Now, most of them, like now, will be camping in the extraction zone. Like that, for instance. You're all level 90s, just camping at the first extraction zone with higher weapons, and they're just just camp in DZ1 just to get all the noobs. Now, it's a pain in the ass thing, it's un it's unsportsmanship, but you know, if you ever come across like rogues like them all packed in one big group or manhunts like that one for instance, then you're in deep shit. Now, the second thing is how you want to do DZ is you want to go up to DZ6 which is the very top where you would encounter very less rogues because all the rogues will be all in DZ1, 2 and 3 now most of them will be there just to pick off the noobs and let's see where this manhunt's going so, big group, all following together. That's the one thing you wa always want to avoid. Big groups like that. Because they always pick the noobs. And also watch your back against other players. Because you don't know when the shit's going to hit the fan. Who's shooting at me? Oh, um. So, DZ1, all the rogues will be there to hunt off all the noobs. DZ2, the exact same thing. DZ3, very little. 4, 5, and 6, you encounter very little. Um, oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Checkpoints. Um, not checkpoints. Missions. Lincoln Tunnel Checkpoint. Now, I've got a few clips. Or, I would have a few clips, but Xbox keeps freezing on me up most of the time, but... There is a way for the entire mission to glitch. Now, two clips I've got is um, JTF Soldier glitches me through the um, floor, which I would show right now. And, if you ever have a complete dickhead,
And that's the sound of a possum right outside my window. Anyway, Lincoln Tunnel Checkpoint. If you ever come across a complete dickhead, when you're in the tunnels, just killing time for the bomb to defuse, always leave one dude alive and don't kill him. Because if you kill him at the wrong time, the entire mission will glitch. Meaning that, there will be no enemies, no mission to continue to say, Oh, you have to clear up the tunnels. There will be none of that. There will be no enemies spawning because you'll have one cock sniff that killed the last dude probably as soon as the timer ended. Which they will glitch the entire mission. Um, another beauty is the Russian Consulate. When you get to the Panic Room and you're playing on Challenge, the one thing you don't want to do is when you the big shield dude comes out, you'll have a lot of shotties coming after you. I think I believe the entire get the entire mission has. 50 shotties plus. Now when you get to the panic room and you get to the shoddy wave, what you want to do is run all the way up to the stairs where you won't get ass fucked much. Um, incursion. You want to have a high damage. You want to have one player that's a tank a tank, a lot of health. So they can do the bomb, and you want to have two heals, like I've got, you know, you've got your heal thing, you've got your lunch box, and you've got the overheal. And at least two people to do that. And you would want good weapons. And another thing that you would want to do later on if you want is to farm Phoenix credits. Now, the last refresh for the special vendor had decent weapons. It had two snipers, which was a 214 SOCOM, very little. DPS and damage, you've got the MK Carbine, which was 204, and then OG, that was a 204 with 10k damage. Now, most people were farming the credits just to get the OG, but not me, because I kept on farming and I thought, oh, there might be a good decent sniper, but no, it turned out to be LMG pistol and a Tech 9. So, but you know, it's up to you what you want. You know, the resets always, you know, half the time will come up with good stuff, sometimes it won't come up with anything. <sighs> so, there's the Division 101 on how to do things and how not to do things. But the biggest not to do thing of all time is be one of those dickheads that will camp in the DZ zone in DZ zone 1, 2, little bit 3 if you're manhunt and rogue and you're just camping outside checkpoints near the extraction zone just to farm off the experience and DZ keys and loot and money you just you just named yourself the biggest cunt of division now happened to me and my mates a few times and you know what they've done is just reported them and hopefully they would get their accounts fucked up taken away because what they're doing is unsportsmanship is just being a dickhead so that's the one thing you don't want to do is just be one of those guys and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, click the thumb button.
um, hit the subscribe, leave a comment of what you think of the opinions I left. If, if I left anything out, feel free to chuck it in, and I'll bring it up. Um, and yeah, a new opto will be coming soon with the incursion two, which is going to be two twenty. What they should have done with the incursion is just get better loot, you know. Yeah, challenging 40 Phoenix, it should be about 200. Hard. Should be 100 Phoenix credits, not fucking 30. Because that's just piss weak, and, you know, it takes at least an hour or two if you got the right team just to, just to get it done. And all you get is. Phoenix credits, high end, and one green loot. So yeah, you know. Thanks for watching. Do all the stuff I've said before. You know, if you want to. Not begging or anything. That's just out in the open. But um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.